the operculum is something that covers the gills like in fishes we can't see the gill slits right because they have a plate like structure which covers the gills they have operculum now imagine if inside our body also if the temperature becomes minus what might happen our blood will start to freeze circulation of blood will completely stop and eventually the person will die so both a and b also is the right answer here because they also have notochord which is present that is they have notochord but it is not persistent hello everyone a warm welcome to the session on first puc biology i'm dr divya biology faculty vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore So in this session, let us learn about class chondrichthyes under subphylum Vertebrata of Chapter Four, Animal Kingdom. So let's learn about the characteristic of chondrichthyes and then move into learning about some of the MCQs that can be framed under this particular topic. So class chondrichthyes. In the previous session, we learnt about class Cyclostomata and we got to know the characteristics. So now you'll understand what is the major difference between cyclostomata if not go on to the previous session wherein you can have a look at it so class chondrichthyes they are also marine animals wherein cyclostomata were also marine animals and they have streamlined body so streamlined body is just like this it looks like this like an aeroplane aeroplanes also have a streamlined body and why is the streamlined body present so that we all know that how much force the water current has or how much pressure the water current has right so the fishes have to swim through these water currents so if they have to swim through these water currents cutting the water currents or the water pressure they need to have a body shape which is streamlined so that it can easily cut through the water currents and swim very fast so that is why they have a streamlined body and they have an endoskeleton which is cartilaginous that is it is of a soft bone and their mouth is located ventrally that is at the lower side of the body so you can see a ventral mouth right here so mouth is ventral ventrally located even here also you can see the mouth is ventrally located so they have a ventral mouth and notochord is present and we all know that in vertebrates the notochord is present only in the embryonic stage later on when they develop into an adult it gets replaced by a cartilaginous vertebral column in this particular case and because they are marine here they have gill slits which do not have operculum so operculum is something that covers the gills like in fishes we can't see the gill slits right because they have a plate like structure which covers the gills they have operculum so that is why they are placed under ostichthyes separately but the only thing is chondrichthyes they have gill slits but the gill slits are not covered by an operculum it's not covered so they don't have an operculum so hence they are placed those organisms which whose gill slits do not have operculum they've placed it under chondrichthyes otherwise they could have put these under ostichthyes and one more thing is their skin is tough or rough and it contains minute placoid scales so placoid scales are present in chondrichthyes whereas ostichthyes have tenoid scales so placoid scales are scales which look exactly like a teeth like how a molar teeth looks like right the molars that we have just like that the crown of the molars so just like that it looks so such scales are called as placoid scales so the body is covered by scales now cyclostomata body was not covered by scales they didn't have jaws but these have jaws and uh, they don't have suction instead they have a mouth with jaws and with teeth so that is why they have placed these organisms separately under chondrichthyes and not grouped it under cyclostomata and the teeth are modified placoid scales so i told you the body is covered by placoid scales and some of the placoid scales they get modified and they form the teeth and these organisms have jaws therefore they are placed under the order gnathostomata and their jaws are very very powerful because these are carnivorous animals wherein uh, they feed on the other organisms they prey on the other organisms and these animals are very very predaceous and we have heard of a lot of shark attacks and all that right they are quite ferocious and predaceous animals and that is why they have very strong jaws and teeth 
and they do not have air bladder. Now, the main difference between ostic thighs and chondric thighs is that they do not have air bladder. One is the gill slit that I told you. The gill slits are not covered by operculum. One more thing is they do not have air bladder. And air bladder is not there means they cannot stop even for a second without swimming. Otherwise, they'll sink to the bottom because of the lack of air bladder, their body do not have buoyancy or their body is not buoyant. So buoyancy means the ability to float with water. Like when we go for swimming, we have to either keep swimming continuously, paddle ourselves continuously in the water, right? Otherwise, we'll drown or we need to use a tube around us which is, which is filled with air or we need to use a water safety jacket, right? So that it will give us buoyancy to our body. Just like that, these organisms also, they do not have an air bladder. And therefore, they have to keep continuously swimming in order to prevent drowning. So, they continuously swim. These sharks, the tiger sharks, the hammerhead sharks or the sawfish, all these come under the chondric thighs and they continuously have to swim. And they have a heart which is two-chambered. So, one auricle and one ventricle. So, they have two-chambered heart wherein they have the upper auricle and the lower ventricle and some of the chondrichthyes they have some defensive structures in them in order to protect themselves from other predaceous animals so some of them have electric organs for example torpedo so this is torpedo they have electric organs which gives a shock when it is touched so that like human beings and all that don't uh, dare to go near them and some of them for example, the trigon, they have poison sting. So, if you see trigon here at the tip, this portion, this is the poison sting that they have. Poison sting. So, this is a ray fish. So, they have poison sting and this is called as trigon. These two are, that is the torpedo and trigon, they have defensive structures in them. And these are cold-blooded animals, meaning poikilothermous. Poikilothermous, cold-blooded animals. So, cold-blooded animals are those animals which are not capable of regulating their body temperature. Say, for example, we human beings are warm-blooded animals. So, whenever we go to a cold place, do you just measure your body temperature? Of course, when you touch your outside body, you will feel cold. It is cold. But inside our body, the temperature will always remain same. Say for example, you are living in Kashmir where the temperature is minus, right? In the winters, it is minus. Now, imagine if inside our body also if the temperature becomes minus, what might happen? Our blood will start to freeze. Circulation of blood will completely stop and eventually the person will die. That is why we human beings are homeothermous, that is warm-blooded, wherein we our body temperature does not change according to the external temperature. Whatever the external temperature is, unless we have a fever, our body temperature will remain somewhere between 97 to 99 degree Fahrenheit only, right? So, that is homeothermous. Now, what is poikilothermous? These organisms are not capable of regulating their body temperature. So, their body temperature changes according to the external environment. So, that is why some of the fishes not all fishes can live in the arctic and all that. So, uh, that is about these organisms. They lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature and that is why they have hard scales and all that which prevents them from the extreme cold waters. And the sexes are separate meaning they are dioecious wherein the male and the female is separate and in males they have a structure for copulation which is called as claspers. So, these claspers are present in their fins. So, th that helps them in copulation and they have f internal fertilization wherein the sperm fuses with the egg inside the body of the organism itself. That is fertilization takes place inside the body and most of these organisms are viviparous. Now, don't get confused. It is viviparous means those organisms which give birth to young ones. Now, you can ask me, they give birth to young ones and why didn't they put them under class mammalia? The reason is, of course, these organisms give birth to young ones, most of them, but they do not have mammary glands to nourish the young ones with milk. So, that is why they are not placed under mammals. But whale, 
whales exactly look like the chondrichthyes only but whales are not placed under chondrichthyes because males have mammary glands in them so that is the reason so don't always get confused when the term viviparous comes here so these are organisms which give birth to young ones directly next some of the example scoliodon which is called as dogfish so this is dogfish scoliodon then we have pristis which is called sawfish so this is the sawfish if you see its snout no it has like it looks like a saw only so sawfish then there is carcharodon which is the white shark so this is the white shark and trigon which is sting ray this is sting ray so these are the if you carefully look you can see the poison stings that they have so these are some of the examples for chondric thighs so now we know the characteristics of chondric thighs so we shall look into the mcqs so which is not a characteristic feature of chondric thighs again here not a characteristic feature so lack of jaws lack of jaws they do have jaws they have jaws so is this not a characteristic of course this is not a characteristic option a is the right answer here because they have jaws notochord persistent notochord is not persistent so therefore this option also can be the right answer so it's both a and b is the right answer here there has been some mistake that has happened so both a and b also is the right answer here because they also have notochord which is present that is they have notochord but it is not persistent only in the younger ones in the embryonic stage they have the notochord later it gets replaced by the vertebral column so this is also not a characteristic of chondric thighs and this is also not a characteristic of chondric thighs teeth are backwardly directed that is a characteristic because the teeth are backwardly directed and one more is cartilaginous endoskeleton yes they have an endoskeleton which is made up of cartilage or soft bone so therefore this is also both are not the right answer it's actually a and b are the right answer here so one more option if it is given both a and b you have to select both a and b because both of these are right there has been a mistake that has happened here so what is not a characteristic here lack of jaws and notochord persistent next the body of chondric thighs is covered by dash cycloid scales tenoid scales scutes placoid scales cycloid scales and tenoid scales are present in ostic thighs okay it's not in chondric thighs so that is not a and b is not the right answer scutes so scutes are usually present in reptiles wherein they have this uh, cornified dried uh, hard skin that is there which is called as scutes it's present in reptiles so therefore placoid scales is the right answer so placoid scales that is option d is the right answer here the heart and chondric thighs are dash chambered 1 2 3 and 4 so two chambered wherein i told you it has one auricle and one ventricle so they are two chambered in chondric thighs the teeth are directed is it directed towards the front no backwards yes left upwards no upwards no the answer is wrong left also answer is wrong option b is the right answer they have jaws they have teeth but the teeth are directed backwards that is towards their mouth chondric thighs have to swim constantly why we have learnt about this characteristic which is the major difference between ostic thighs and chondric thighs right so what is the reason why chondric thighs have to swim constantly we shall look into so due to the presence of air bladder no if they have a air bladder it will give their body buoyancy so there is no need for them to swim so therefore this option is not correct due to the absence of air bladder yes they do not have an air bladder that is why they are not capable of floating in water hence if they have to float in water they have to continuously swim due to absence of fins no they have fins so therefore it's not the right option due to the heavy weight so that is also not the right option the right option here is option b due to the absence of air bladder next torpedoes have dash organs poison sting electric 
or they can as trigon have dash organs so poison sting poison sting is found in trigon okay it is stingray it is also called as stingray so they can as trigon have dash organs or stingrays have dash organ that time you have to choose option a if that is the question because they have poison sting now torpedoes they have electric organs in them they have electric organs option b poison needles no these do not have poison needles water jet no water jet some of the ostic thighs have water jet mechanism wherein they can uh, just like a jet they can propel in water so it's not water jet also option b is a defense water jet is not a defense organ option b here is the defense organ that is apt for torpedoes and i told you if the question is like or they can ask the question like trigon have dash organs then it is poison sting is the answer or stingrays have dash organs then also poison sting is the answer because trigon is also called as stingray now the question here is torpedoes have dash organ therefore option b is the right on answer that is electric organ the pelvic fin of male chondrichthyes bear what do they have in their pelvic fin is it nails no not nails stings no why because uh, these uh, males they have that organ which helps in copulation that is for mating so here stings is not the right answer because stings is a defensive structure in them scales not the right answer of course they have scales but it doesn't help in copulation and all that so claspers is the right answer that is in males especially in the pelvic fin they have claspers so therefore option c is the right answer here so this was about the session wherein we learnt about the class chondrichthyes under subphylum vertebrata and remember they come under the order nathostomata so that mcq can also be asked so i hope you understood the session well so we shall meet again in the coming session wherein we'll learn about one more class under the subphylum vertebrata so see you in the next session thank you